Greetings, everyone. This is the Gardening Snail of Livingston, California, just trying to keep the community informed and local government as honest as possible. City Council regular meeting agenda closed session begins at 6 p.m. Open session begins at 7 p.m. You can participate by teleconference by calling 605-468-8002, access code number 156811, pound sign. The meeting will be streamed on YouTube Live, and you can also email your comments by emailing citycouncil@livingston.com. Comments must be received by 2 p.m. on the day of the City Council meeting, and you will need to provide meeting date, item number, name, email, and comment. Please limit to 300 words or three minutes, and please include public comment in the subject line. Notice that the email address has been changed, so make sure you send in those emails to the correct address. Closed session. Any public comment on closed session items will be taken before the closed session. On the agenda, Conference with Labor Negotiator, Police Supervisory Employees Association, Livingston Police Officer Association, Management Confidential Bargaining Unit, Clerical Bar Bargaining Unit, Performance Evaluation, Position, City Manager. Now you'll notice a little arrow there because it is rather normal for conferences with Labor Negotiator to be a repeat event. What is not normal is for the performance evaluation for the city manager to be a repeat event. I'll get into that a little more later. Open session will start out pretty much the way it always does. However, if this has been changed, now we will have citizen comments. Comments are normally limited to three minutes. Next is announcements and reports followed by the consent agenda with a warrant register, the minutes of meeting held on May 19th, 2021, the budget workshop, a resolution authorizing the city manager to file a regional surface transportation program estimated exchange fund claim form for fiscal year 2020-2021. I'll explain a little bit more about that later. And a resolution authorizing submittal of the 2020 Cal Home application. And I'll have a little more about that later. Under discussion and potential action items, a discussion and direction on the City of Livingston traffic calming program. I'll have a little bit more about that later. Now we're going to look at some of the snippets from the meeting minutes. Here we have where the property tax that the property owners pay gets directed to the fire department. They have an estimated revenue of 630000 this money does not go to the city. It is redirected to the county since they are the fire service providers. Now the city has been trying to set up a meeting with the county to restart the negotiations of their revenue sharing agreement, but they've not been successful. The city manager stated that the county is wanting the city to have one agreement for the fire department, but the city wants to have a separate agreement with the county. This talks about four pension plans in the city and the total for the four plans is $6.8 million of unfunded liability. And if there are any market dynamics, that 6.8 million liability could turn into 11 to $12 million liability. And that could put us in the position of becoming another Stockton, Riverside or San Bernardino if expenses are over the top. And Gerpal Samra suggesting they use the American Rescue Plan money towards infrastructure and water. This talks about how, well, according to a 2005 action by the City Council, we ought to have 23 officers because of our population. And well, the problem is, we might want 23 officers, but can we pay for 23 officers? As the meeting began to wrap up, the city manager asked the council for direction on the allocation of funds for Measure V and the traffic calming program. Also asked for direction on the canine unit, improvements to the city property designated for public safety on the corner of Dwight and Walnut, and the spay and neuter program. Here's a little more on that estimated exchange fund claim form. The amount of funds that would be received would be used for the road rehabilitation project at the intersection of Winton Parkway and Joseph Gallocourt. 
The 2020 Cal Home application is to apply for up to $800,000 in grant funding for the implementation of a first time home buyer mortgage assistance program and an owner occupied rehabilitation assistance program within the city limits of the city of Livingston. The mortgage assistance program, the maximum loan would be 40% of a borrower's purchase price for a property up to a maximum of $100,000. The rehabilitation program offers income eligible person financing also in the form of a deferred payment loan to accomplish any of the following, the repair, rehabilitation or reconstruction of single family residential units, the construction, reconstruction, repair, or rehabilitation of an ADU or JADU, and the repair or replacement of a manufactured home. For the rehabilitation of a single family residential unit, the maximum loan amount will be $75,000, except if a home is in need of reconstruction, the maximum loan amount is $125,000. And for ADU construction, the maximum per unit loan amount is $100,000. The application will be written and administered by Self-Help Enterprises if funded. An ADU is a accessory dwelling unit. A JADU is a junior accessory dwelling unit. Self-Help Enterprises waive their fee to prepare the application. If the Cal Home application is successful, the activity delivery costs are paid for by the grant. However, grant administration is not covered by the grant. Self-help enterprises will charge the city $12,000 to administer the grant, which again will come from the program income fund, not the general fund, spread out over three years. Finance department will make the appropriate entries to reflect these adjustments. Now let's look at some things about traffic calming. Right here, we see the traffic calming request process. We find there are pre-approved traffic calming devices, one of which are radar speed feedback signs, speed undulations, which are similar to speed bumps, but a little bit different, and median islands. And I'm going to wrap up right here with the fact that the city manager's performance appraisal just seems to be appraised over and over and over again. And I can't help but wonder, when does a performance appraisal cease to be about appraising performance? On August 18th, 2020, there was a performance appraisal. On January 19th, 2021, another performance appraisal. On February 2nd, 2021, another performance appraisal. After that, on February 16th, 2021, the city manager's contract was renewed. However, on April 20th, 2021, there was another performance appraisal. And now, on July 20th, 2021, another performance appraisal is on the closed session agenda. Some people just do not believe these repeated rounds of performance appraisals are honest attempts to do real appraisals of performance. They feel that these are veiled attempts to get rid of the city manager and eventually stack on for management with people friendly to some of the current council members and their interests. People willing to do these council members bidding, even if it is not in the best interest of the city as a whole. If the result of these so-called performance appraisals of the city manager result in him either being let go or placed on administrative leave, then what? Who would be signing all the documents the city manager usually signs? A friend of the council members? An associate of the new city attorney? Just who might already be on tap to take over? Any views or opinions I express on these videos are my own and do not represent the views or opinions of the City Council or City of Livingston. Unless, of course, I am using direct quotes or video from City Council or other public meetings, then it's pretty obvious whose opinion is whose. Copies of source documentation available upon request.